everyone. Today's video clip is on one of the most invaluable tools in dental operatory, the dental operating microscope. An often intimidating thought of using a dental microscope is simply due to the lack of knowledge of the different parts of the dental microscope and also the understanding of the concept of magnification. Today's video is based on the very basics of the dental operating microscope. I hope you like it. Do watch. The two main components of the microscope are the supporting structure and the body of the microscope. The supporting structure is a very important part of the microscope. It can be floor mounted, wall mounted or ceiling mounted. Whatever be the mount, it is necessary that the supporting structure is stable and at the same time it gives adequate maneuverability of the scope to the operator during the entire operative procedure. The operator looks into the microscope through the eyepiece. The eyepiece is designed in such a way that the operator can comfortably place his eyes in the designated place. There is a provision for adjusting the diopters and also to adjust the interpupillary distance. The eyepiece itself has a magnification of 10x. Sometimes it also has a magnification of up to 12.5x. Eyepiece is mounted on the tiltable binocular tube. The binocular tube is tiltable from 0 degrees to 210 degrees. This gives the operator the benefit of a comfortable position for a spine for long working hours. An important component of the microscope head is the objective lens. The objective lens here has a focal length of 250 mm. This can also be optionally 200, 300 or 400 mm. It has the facility of fine tuning to get a better focus of the object in focus up to 15 millimeters movement can be achieved by moving the knob placed here. Another important component in the microscope head is the magnification changer. The magnification changer helps in varying the level of magnification. You can clearly see it can be 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 1, 2.5, 1.6, etc. Another important component is the beam splitter. The beam splitter splits the beam of light, thus allowing an additional provision for a digital camera and another additional provision for an assistant head to be attached to the microscope. The body of the microscope can have additional features. This however is an essential feature, the adjustment of the intensity of light The provision of filters which can be used during various procedures which sums up for the components of the body of the microscope. The movement in the horizontal arm and the swivel arm as well as the tilt in the body of the microscope helps in adjusting the microscope in any part to give better visibility in any part of the 